Hello guys and welcome to the 8th video of my Facebook Messenger bot tutorial series. Until now we have created a basic messenger bot which can echo any message that it receives. Also we have successfully deployed our messenger bot on Heroku and now it's time to provide some NLP powers to our messenger bot. Right? NLP means natural language processing. So basically uh, we are making a chatbot right um, and a chatbot will receive the messages from the user in form of natural text so my bot needs to understand what the user wants to say right so for this purpose we need something called natural language processing and to do that we are going to use wit.ai so wit.ai provides some NLP services and it is currently acquired by Facebook so and it's free so let's see how we can use it so first of all you need to log in with your github or Facebook account and once you have done that you need to create a wit.ai app okay so you can click on this plus button right here and now you can create a app an app so I'm calling my app as newsbot description a newsbot language I'm going to use English language only for my bot so it's English uh, that doesn't matter okay create app so now in just a few moments my vid.ai app will get created yes yeah, so you can see it's newsbot my new app my new wit.ai app has got created now in order to use wit.ai you need to understand some terms right so first term is entity so entity is some kind of you can say a category that you have created or you can say some relevant piece of information right like I say show me news what are the top headlines of the day hey get me some top sports news of the day right so all these things will boil down to a single entity which I may call news or show news right so my bot just need to understand that the user wants to get the news so for that just a single token of word is sufficient right but the user is saying that in natural text so that is what you need to understand okay now how to create an entity let's see so here it is saying that the user says so what will the user says what will the user say and what will be the response um, so let's say the user says show me sports news okay I haven't created any entity so far so show me sports news right so I'm taking it as sports create an entity I'm saying it as a news type right and what value will it have sports so I have just created a new entity which is called news type and the entity has a value called sports okay and I'm going to validate it okay so uh, let's say I say that show me international news headlines right and add a new entity no I'm going to use the one I made news type and what value uh, it's a new value called international okay so and I'm going to validate it so what I'm doing currently is that I'm giving some input or you can say some training data to my bit.ai app to understand that uh, what I want to create uh, here you can see here is a entity news type and it currently has two values which I just created international and sports right and uh, let's create one more um, show me entertainment news ah cool so look at that it almost caught itself that yeah my value could be entertainment and that just 
got inputted automatically so that's cool so let me see if my bot has understood something or not sports news yeah so the recommendations say automatically that yeah it's a news type entity and the value must be sports so i'm going to just validate it by validating i means that i mean that yeah the what the thing that you suggested seems right and i want that to be feeded into my app right um let's try something else show me national news um the spelling is a bit different show me national news right national there is some problem it seems let me correct it show me show me national news okay that's fine okay now one more thing um let's say i said show me national news so which country is my user from i don't know right so i am just thinking that when i will get an entity news type with the value national i will ask the user that which country is he from right and in that case the user may say something like i am from paris uh i am in paris it's a city right um let me make it i am from india yeah so for india it's a location so i'm going to give with location entity and it will understand itself that yeah it is location okay let me show you i am from france yeah look at that that's working so i have created a new entity called location with slash location means that it's a predefined entity and it has already been trained that france india usa spain etc these are the countries or the locations you can basically say so with location the value is france i'm going to validate that so that seems good i have trained my model a bit and i think it's time to write some python code to get to interact with this vid.ai app okay so in order to do this you need to have a python client for vid and that is okay let me first install that my when scripts activate okay so you need to install wit module and it is the official python client for the wit.ai api okay so it will get downloaded and installed in a few moments and then when then we will see that how we can use it okay so we have successfully installed wit here and now i am going to create a new file utils dot py okay and now i'm going to write some code to interact with the wit api from wit import wit so wit capital w i t is the class uh, of class in the wit module okay so from wit import wit and i need to have a access token so how will i get this access token for my wit.ai app so for this you need to go to settings in settings in the api details you will get this server access token 
just copy it and paste it here okay now i am going to create a wit.ai wit api client so client is equal to wit uh, basically, I am going to create an object of the wit class. So, I just need to pass the assess token. Okay. And now, let's say there is some methods called um, I want sports news. And so, what method you need to call? I am calling it response is equal to client dot message and what is the message message is equal to message okay let me make it message text it will look more better message text okay and just let us see what happens print response i'm just typing let us build it let's see what will be the response here okay there was some error it seems okay so message is okay so we got it um so, so you can see it clearly here um, the response that I got from the API entities is news type if you remember we made an entity called news type and it predicted the entity to be having the value sports with a confidence of 94.85% and that's actually right so I think uh, uh, our wit.api app is doing a good job here yeah? right I want sports news and uh, it says that okay let me try something else um, I live in I live in Australia let's see what should be the response so yeah nice it's very nice here you can see the location entity and the confidence is 99.6% and the value is Australia which is perfect right so we have successfully created a bit.ai app and it's giving good results right and we also learned how to use it in a simple python program and in the upcoming video we will be integrating it in our messenger bot fine so that's it from this video thanks for watching